James, 2023 was an active year for Illinois legislators, passing more than 300 new laws that went into effect on Monday. As lawmakers get ready to head back to Springfield, Jenna Webster previews what to say the goals are for 2024. Good afternoon, Illinois. In less than two weeks, Illinois lawmakers will be back at the Capitol for the spring legislative session. It follows a busy year with a new ban on book bans, the Paid Leave Act, and the start of the Safety Act. That being a campaign year, uh, you might not see a lot of legislation until after the primary, March 19th. But. Republican State Representative Tony McCombie serves as the House Minority Leader. She says some focus will be on amending the Safety Act, as well as new laws that she calls anti-business. The paid time off, there, we anticipated to see that uh, last year in veto sessions, some fixes. You know, they didn't take into consideration um, the temporary high school worker or the person that already works a full-time job and gets paid time off and then just wants to maybe work at a restaurant a night. On the other side of the aisle, State Senator Mike Halpin is focusing on the budget. We're going to continue to make historic investments in infrastructure, uh, K-12 through education, and one of my priorities is increased funding for higher education. We're going to be fighting back any sort of increase in, in revenues in form of a tax increase. Both lawmakers have their own legislative priorities, too. For Halpin, that includes funding the Illinois Veterans Grant and National Guard Grant. I also have a couple of constituent issues related to domestic violence and family medical caregiving that I'm looking to introduce. And McCombie continues to call for tougher penalties for those who harm DCFS caseworkers. Legislation she first introduced in 2017 after Pam Knight was beaten to death in Whiteside County. And we still haven't passed that legislation, which is really crazy to me. So that continues to be a number one priority. Illinois lawmakers begin the spring session January 16th. Nearly a dozen bills have already been filed. Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. Meanwhile, the Iowa legislative session begins on Monday. House Republicans say their priorities are public education, public safety, and tax relief. House Democrats say they also want to address public education, along with abortion access and legalizing marijuana in Iowa.